AFL using a Dura line. And that's a single mode? Yeah, it's single mode. What is the advantage of this Dura line? Is it just got more strands per bundle? We can compare it to the most fiber out of any one. This one holds up to 96 strands. Oh, wow. So it's kind of got some longitudinal ridges along here. It makes it easier to slide down the team. Is that what it All right. So I guess Andre is going to show me how to use the system made by ABF and Duraline. So you got the reel out there, and we're going into a data center here. We'll pick up the video here in just a sec. So here we are. Andre is, uh, we're in the data center now. And as you can see, all the cabinets and the tube cells are, are bundled out and prepped yes, on the yes. cable. So you have this one. It's got a coupler on that goes into the blowing head, it looks like. And is this a bifurcated head, or how does this tube cell get in there? Uh, there's a little adapter right here. Can you walk on these? The two wheels are what they're right here. So these two reels? Yeah, the two wheels are right here. Okay. That's the motor. Watch out for the whole thing. And uh, how would I open and close this system? Um, I'll tell you one thing about Pushing up the lever, or loosen this. This loosens the wheels. Oh, okay. This loosens the wheels, it splits up. And the module just slides yeah. out. So this just snaps together. Put the little uh, gaskets inside here. Actually, it's broken. Sorry. I know Andre, poor Andre already got all this set up and I'm making him break it all down. So it loosens another nut up on the top. Tension adjustment nut. Got a couple washers there. The tube cell lines up. It's like a little, uh, and then the other side of this just, uh, notice he's pushing the tube cell in for a nice fit. Puts the bifurcated top back on. Make sure it's aligned properly. He seals the side latches. Tightens the top, uh, nice and loose. You want to make sure it. Sorry. So the fiber moves freely inside there. This just snaps in. Like Slides that back into the unit. It's down. Tightens the top knob. Pushes the lever down. Got it. And we're ready to go. This looks like it's tied onto a 3 8 inch drill. Okay. Ready? You see here, Andre turns on the drill. I need you to hold this. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold it at the 90 here for him. Stop, stop. All right. What happened here is that the fibers got a mess on the spool, so he just puts it in reverse and he backs it out slowly. So right now you can see this red line. This is the uh, the gas line, pressurized gas off the nitrogen tank. And here's the nitrogen with its regulator. And you can see here, he's got it opened up to about 100 PSI. And I think we're gonna regulate on the output at about 15, but right now he's just blowing without any air. Cause it's a short blow. So right here we're out at the reel and you can see uh, got the star employees right here on the job. Got a little tangle from the distributor. They didn't tape down the other end, so it was flopping around. Good catch, good catch. And yeah, we're working this problem out so we can get on the, to the main blow. We're starting the uh, fiber blow again.
Dr. Mara, Tech X, the fiber optic expert, an engineer. Got to set some stuff up for him. You know, the really amazing part of this product line is that it doesn't take any air pressure on short runs. We're running absolutely dry in the tooth cell right now. No nitrogen gas whatsoever. Just the drill and the longitudinal lines inside the tube and on the outside of this fiber jacket. So that really reduces the friction coefficient all the way through. Amazing product. So Andre went outside to turn on the air right now. This looks like the air valve here and the gauge of uh, how many millibars. So it goes up to 15. And up here is the digital footage marker. So you can see down in this manhole here, um, the big problem is that this tube cell, it was uh, in, a, in a little loop. It was too tight, so we undid it, walked it out, make one big loop here. And I'm shaking the tube as the fiber blows through. That helps facilitate it if it does stick anywhere. Just another tip, trick, and technique. Another really interesting thing about this is from a technician's point of view, I'm in the middle right now and the fiber is being blown from the server room building right there. Through this manhole it comes up. This is too much, but an indication that the fiber is going through is I can hear it and I can feel it. I don't know if you can hear that crackling sound. Minus the skateboard. But you can kind of hear it and feel it. That's an important note. So I can tell when he's blowing air and when he's actually not blowing air. I can tell when the fiber's feeding through and I can tell when it's not feeding through. On live, make sure that hole you have you have this side with the hole. Only one side has a hole in it. Oh, okay. So it wasn't blowing any air. Ah, oh, makes sense. I thought there was a lot of air leaking out of here. Yeah, yeah well, it. it usually makes that noise. No matter I what, I couldn't tell anything was wrong. So we could go ahead and put that piece back together. All right, you got a coupler? Yeah. All right. 